avait envie de faire cette séance de maquillage avec Daria et Aaron Demay parce qu'on peut tous se permettre sur Daria. Elle peut en même temps faire un maquillage assez sobre et en même temps aller dans la folie totale, dans l'extravagance et on a envie de lui ressembler. Sorry, I'll the idea. <laughs> Can we wait for a second for that? Can I just get it together first and then we'll talk about it? Thanks, man. Just come to Aria. Thanks. Ça fait longtemps que je connais Ron Demay. Déjà, j'adore le personnage. J'adore son look un peu grungy. Et il a sa voix comme ça, son accent néo-zélandais. Il est très étonnant. Il a un côté rock en lui qui est vraiment très, très spécial. Je pense que c'est très bien pour l'encôme qui fasse partie de leur maison maintenant. Il peut tout faire, mais toujours avec une petite pointe de, de rock and roll que j'aime bien. I keep the color within the shape of Daria's eyes because it carves it out and all of the definition is already there. So I just follow the shape of her face. And just like you would for a regular woman, it's discovering and enhancing what you already have rather than trying to cover over it or completely redesign the shape. So Daria's shape here that she has through the crease is automatically giving a shape and then keeping the highlights on the lid area and the brow bone is making it come forward. So it just exaggerates the beauty, basically. Just keep the lips really, really easy and glossy and very neutral looking because we put all the focus into the eyes. So the eyes are kind of more inspired by a dragonfly or the colors of butterflies. But giving um, it glitter makes it a bit kind of cooler and tougher looking. It's using a different texture rather than a, just a powder eyeshadow, adding more shine to it, and then keeping Daria's beautiful tan skin makes it look really modern as well, because we kept it free of foundation and concealer and just given her a slight tint to her skin. So I think this is what gives it um, freshness rather than looking too 70s or retro looking. Okay. Working for French Vogue, it feels like Vogue. It feels modern and it feels spontaneous and it's always elegance and chicness, but pushing it to its limit because I think Vogue should look aspirational. It's selling um, an ideal of beauty and style and an idea of um, women. You know, it's not giving someone a rule book to follow. It's about showing people how they could maybe look if they would love to. And it's about looking at something and feeling a little bit of humor behind it, which is what I love about French folk. I think there's a humor behind it. It's not so particularly serious. Dream. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> For me, just to do an eye pencil or a little bit of glitter is pointless. It's about showing it full effect to girls and women so they can take their own idea and be like, oh, I'd love to have glitter or I would love to have a color. Or even if they look at the color and think maybe I could wear it on my fingernails or on my toenails or maybe just as a mascara. It's just about giving people freedom. I think that's the nice thing about beauty. It's about seeing something and thinking it could be a nice moment to try that. Um, the lips, it's more inspired by um, an album cover of Roxy Music. I really love the red and green together because there's always this thing that um, red and green should never be seen. So I think it's a good moment to really see it. 
And I really love it against the tan because they're kind of colours that you would normally associate with being pale and very fair. So I think it's a really nice contrast having a really nice tanned skin and using a bright, um, very true red. And then I've shaded the eye a lot more and then added in contour to the cheekbones to make them look more um, sharp and more elegant looking. <laughs> Aaron did my makeup on the very first fashion show that I, in 2001. Exactly. Before September yeah. 11th. Yeah, and here we are today. Yeah. Time flies. <laughs> Time flies. Thanks, look. There you go. That's Daria. This one or this one or this one? I'm the same one I would say. Please. Don't you find? Yeah. She's the favourite. Who's the girl? That's amazing. Hi. should know that. It's important to remember that, that it's not really about the photography, it's not really about the styling or the hair, it's really a makeup story and, and I suppose in, as much as it's about the makeup, it's also about the woman and, and it's about Daria and so in an attempt to um, not to, um, even though there is a great deal of transformation going on physically, we don't want to get too far away from who that person actually is.